All right. Welcome back to Engage New York, Module 2, Lesson 23, Concept Development. We are always, the only difference between yesterday and today is we're adding an additional number to our dividend. So our objective, I can divide three and four digit dividends by two digit divisors resulting in a two or three digit quotient or a two or three digit answer. So we spent over a week, maybe almost two weeks, just on practicing estimating with multiplication and with division. So we are always going to use that skill of estimating in order to, for us to find that first number that we're going to try in our problem. Then in the subsequent numbers, you could take that number and try to round it to try to find that next number. That's always doable as well. So let's go ahead and start with 6,247 divided by 29. I'm thinking that 6,000 divided by 30 would be a nice, easy number to round to. Don't you think? All right. So 6,000 divided by 30 gives us what? You could also do six, 60 hundreds would be another way of writing it. 60 hundreds divided by 30 would give us how many hundreds? Two hundred or two hundreds, right? Two different ways to write it. Now, we're going to use the idea of two. We're going to use this two hundred as our first number that we're going to try in our division problem. So we're going to actually solve the true problem of 29 divide 6,247. And since we did our estimate, we're going to estimate, we're going to throw two in there. 29 goes into, does 29 go into six? No. So we need to grab 62, right? So 29 goes into 62. Let's try two. So two times nine is 18. Two times two is four plus one is five. 12 subtract eight is four. I'm gonna bring down a copy of that four. Now we could say, now we could come back over here, right? And we could go 44 tens divide 39, oh, sorry, 29. And then we could go, hmm, what should we round that to? We could round this to 30 tens divide by 30. Well, that would give us 1 10. So I'm going to take my 1 10 and I'm going to say 29 goes into 44 one time, okay? One times 29. So I'm just going to continue. I can continue as I move down through my division problem. I can continue to use this strategy to help me find that next number, right? So let's go ahead and subtract. And now we're going to bring down a copy of that 7 and 157. Now we can do the same thing again. We could say 157. 157 divide by 29. Hmm, 157. What number is calling out to round that to? What do you guys think? All right, so 150 divided by 30 is five. So now I'm gonna try the five up here. So five times nine is 45. Five times two is 10 plus four is 14. 
I'm going to go ahead and subtract. And I end up with 12. All right, so now I have 215 with a remainder of 12. So now let's go over here and check. So let's go 215 times 29. 215 times 29. 5 times 4 is 45. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, right? 9, 10, 9 times 2 is 18, 19. Add the 0. 2 times 5 is 10. 2 times 1 is 2 plus 1 is 3. And then 2 times 2 is 4. Correct? So we end up with 5, 3. We're going to... We end up with 6,235, but what do we need to add? We're almost there. We have to add the remainder, right? All right. That's what we're doing today. All right. So we are going to, so the reason why we bring the, our number over is just to try to figure out what number would what number should we multiply by and it's just trying to cut to the chase a little bit faster by by rounding to try to find that number faster instead of having to do a bunch of little multiplication problems all over your page <clears throat> instead just bring your number over and try to round it so 44 tens because 44 tens would be tens, right? So we round it to 30 tens. 157 would just, 157, it would be 15 tens, right? Yes? All right. So that's our big idea. What I'd like to challenge you with right now is I am going to call on certain people and I'm going to ask you to tell me what step I should take. Okay. So when I call your number, you're going to tell me what step one is. Got it? All right. So we know that we need to divide the, act the actual number as the next step. Then we're going to take our, our estimation and use that as our first number. And we know that 52 can't go into 4. We know 52 can't go into 42. So 52 had to go into 428. We multiplied and then we subtracted and got 129. So step, the next step. So now what we're going to do is take 129. We're going to pull 129 over here. And we're going to divide it by 52 ones, right? Yes or no? Okay. So 129. So let's take this and round these two numbers. What numbers could be compatible that might go nicely together? What four. number four. number four? What should we round 129 to and 52 to? Now, what 52 is probably the easiest one to round to first, right? Just so we're, let's round that to 50. And then we go, well, is 130 going to be? I guess 130, but we could take this down to just to 100, right? Yeah. So this one would work out real nicely. And we would just have 100 ones, ones, divided by 50 would give us what? Two ones, right? Okay, so now our next step, let's take our two and use it as our next number, right? So now let's go two times two is four. Two times five is 10. Let's subtract and let's see how we do. Oh, we ended up with 29. So we have 82 with a remainder oh, of 25, silly. 25, silly. 
So 82 remainder 25. So now let's, our last step is let's go 82 times 52. And by doing this, you're building your, your abilities. You're building your muscles on multiplication and division right now. That's why we're repeating this repeat. All right, let's keep going. So we ended that problem with dividing it out, 82 with the remainder of 25. We multiplied, then we added our remainder and got right back to 4,289. Remember, the entire reason we are estimating is to build our stamina at estimating. Then we're building our stamina at dividing. Dividing. And then we are building our stamina on multiplying. We're just trying to get better, stronger, faster at these skills. All right. So problem three. 63 divided by 6,649. Now, I do have to say that if your rounding is different than my rounding, it's not that big of a deal because what matters is the actual division problem and getting the actual division problem right and then being able to check it with multiplication. That's the most important, okay? Just because your rounding is different than mine doesn't mean that you're wrong. It just means that you did it different than I did, okay? All right, so 60, so 63 easily rounds to what number? 60, right? Now, this is where we start going, hmm, 6,649, but I have a six. So what number? Should I round it up to 7,000? But if I round it up to 7,000, is that going to easily divide by, am I going to be able to make a connection easily? Or what if we just went to 6,000? What if we just went to 6,000 and then we had, why not, right? We're just estimating. We're just trying to find a number to plug into that division problem. We're not trying to be fancy or anything. So, so if we went 60 hundreds divided by 60, that would just give us, 100. All right, so now let's try our first one. So we now know we're going to try our first number we're going to try in our division problem is simply one. Yeah. So we're going to go 63 divided by 6,649. And we're simply, we're going to go 63 goes into 6? No. But does 63 go into 66? Yeah. How many times? One. That's right. We're going to subtract, bring down the 3. Then we're going to make a copy of the 4 and bring it on down. Now, if we want, we can bring our 34 over here. Now, this is really three hundreds based on where it sits in, in the place value chart. It's really three hundreds plus four tens. Like where it sits in the place value, like if you were actually looking at the place value, it'd be three hundreds plus four tens, which we could break this down and make it simpler to 34 tens divided by 63. How many times will 30, where 63 go in to 34? Uh, how many times will 63 fit into 34? Can you shove, can you shove 63 into 34? No. It's yeah. going to be zero. 
So we're going to record the zero and you could go through the process of actually bringing it and then bring down 349. Now let's take 349. Okay, so remember these over here is just helping you figure out what number is going to go in your quotient, right? Okay, so 349, 349, mm -hmm. plus 300, divide by 60, divide by 63. Now, hmm, let's go 300, divide by 60. So, hmm, what do you see here? If we got rid of here and got rid of here, 6 goes into 30 how many times? 5, right? So now we're going to take our 5 and use it up here. So 5 times 3 is 15. 5 times 6 is 30 plus 1 is 31. Subtract 9, subtract 5 is 4. 4 subtract 1 is 3, so we have a remainder of 34. So we're going to check. So we simply are building our abilities, our strength, when it comes to multiplication and division, right? So 105 times 63. 5 times 3 is 15. 3 times 0 is 0 plus 1 is 1. 3 times th 1 is 3. Bring down our 0. 6 times 5 is 30. 6 times 0 is 0, plus 3 is 3. 6 times 1 is 6. Let's add them up. 660, 6,615. Okay, we better add our remainder. Nine, four, six. Did we end up in the right place? Yes, we did. All right, friends. Last problem. Now, this is the one where I'm going to purposely not round well enough. Okay? And I'm going to show you. If that happens, how can I fix it? So pay attention to how I'm going to fix it. All right, so 45, I'm going to round 45 to 50. Why not, right? And then I'm going to say 3,164. Well, shoot, that's super close to 3,000, right? So, so 300 tens divide by 50. And that's going to give me six tens. Now, let's go up here and do the actual 45. Because remember, that six is going to help us, is going to, we're going to plug it in over here. So 3,164. Now, 45 goes into three, no. 45 goes into 31, no. But 45 has to go into 316. Well, we estimated that we should try six, right? Yes? All right. So six times five is 30. Six times four is 24. 25, 26, 27. Now. Uh-oh. This number is larger than our divisor. So... That tells me, oops, I did not go high enough on my number. So now I'm going to go, you know what? I'll just add one more, right? Okay, so then last, we're going on to problem set. And you are going to divide and check using multiplication. So go ahead. And yes, I prefer if you do use the estimation, but... 
if you don't need it and you only need it for certain problems, only use it for certain problems. That's perfectly fine. But technically, the directions say divide and then check. Okay? Use estimation in order to make your life easier. On the back side, Mr. Riley baked 1,692 chocolate chip cookies. He, so he sold them in boxes of 36 cookies each. How much money did he collect if he sold them for $8 per box? So yes, this is a two-step problem. You need to divide and then need to figure out how much money he made on each box. I mean, how much it, he tells you how much he made per box, how much he sold per box, how much did he make all together? So then we have 1,090, 1,092 flowers are arranged in 26 faces with the same number of flowers in each face. How many flowers would be needed to fill 130 such vases? Now, it's kind of like yesterday's problem where we had to figure out it was like the balloon animals problem. This is sort of like that problem from yesterday. Then the elephant's water tank holds 2,560 gallons of water. After two weeks, the zookeeper measures and finds that the tank has 1,944 gallons of water left. If the elephant drinks the same amount of water each day, how many days will a full tank of water last? That's a, these are very CGI, if you will. So sharing things, pulling things apart, figuring out how, dividing things up equally. All right. Good luck. I'm sure you will do fabulous.